So you're playing on a multiplayer server and you're running a shop there. But you'd like it to be a bit more automated. Well, this is the video just for you. Because I will show you this tiny redstone shop that is really quick to set up. Where if the customer throws in some diamonds, he will get back the same amount of reward items. And of course you can change the reward item as well as the payment item. And the shop won't be able to accept anything other than the payment item that you set. This particular design was sent to me by this Reddit user, so I'm gonna show you the basic design as well as some of my alterations to it. And I should also note that everything that you will see in this video actually works on Java as well as Bedrock Edition. So no matter what version you're playing on, you should be able to build this on most of the servers out there. And now to make this thing, prepare an area that is 3 blocks deep, 3 blocks long and 2 blocks wide. And start by placing down a barrel, where you will get all of your profits. And on top of that, place 2 hoppers going down. Now the main thing powering this whole circuit is a simple item filter. So to make that, place a redstone torch on top of a target block right here. Then we will read the amount of items in this hopper with a comparator and the output of that hook right into the torch that we placed. And now we're pretty much almost done with the building. So just finish it off by placing a barrel on top of this target block and a simple hopper running into it. But the machine of course won't work if we don't set up the items in the item filter. Now for that, just grab 21 of any renamed items, preferably rename that to something totally random, and place those in the hopper that we are reading from with the comparator into the last four slots, leaving the first one empty. Because there we will place one of your chosen payment items. So this is the one that you want the customer to pay with. And we of course also need to fill the output of the machine, so put the items you want the customer to receive into this hopper. And if the space in this hopper isn't enough for you, you can obviously simply expand it using like a barrel or a chest. And now we can test out the machine. So if I throw in one diamond, I will get one gold. And if I throw in 5 more, I will get another 5 in the output. But what if your shopping area is massive and you want to have multiple of these shops next to each other? Then I can tell you that if you just mirror this design, you can stack these right next to each other. So something like this will work with no problems. Now if you're planning to build this design, why don't you subscribe to my channel? Do you really believe that I won't be able to make anything better than this? And if you really think that, then this video must be really awesome, so why not give it a like? Now what if you just don't like the layout of this design, where the output barrel is diagonally from the input hopper in this weird way? Well, then you can just shift the output by adding another hopper to it. So you'll have the barrel right next to the input hopper. The only disadvantage this has is that the customer will get his items only after all of the payments have been processed. But we can simply solve that by rearranging the circuitry a bit. So if we instead place a block in front of the comparator and go down with the redstone dust like this, we can even forego using a target block and just place the redstone torch on top of a normal block. Well, unless you want to mirror these right next to each other, then you'll still need the target block. Now what if you want to change the price of the item? 
or the amount the shop gives out. For that you will need a slightly larger circuit. You can find the one where you can change the price on the right, the one where you can change the output on the left, and if you want to change both, then click the video in the middle.